Hey y'all! Long time no see. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about how I made my uh, Sugar Plum Princess Barbie cosplay. It's the Sugar Plum Princess outfit from the ending of uh, Barbie and the Nutcracker, the animated movie. First of all, I made it as part of a group uh, cosplay. My very first group cosplay, actually. Um, where we all were like different um, animated Barbie characters, princesses, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think we were like six or seven uh, different Barbies. <laughs> Uh, for this year's uh, Dokokan, which is back in May, which also means this video is very long overdue. But here we are. And if we just like start from one end to another, um, the shoes I'm not going to talk that much about, but I bought these. Uh, in the real versions, she's wearing uh, like ballerina, uh, like point shoes, uh, but I cannot wear that. So, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> it's not great for your feet, so I chose to go with some very like neutral, uh, pretty shoes that I thought would fit to, uh, the cosplay, but also that there's like a bigger chance that I might use privately or for another cosplay at some point. So I have these, and then I just bought some white tights. Uh, then I have the bottom skirt here, uh, which doesn't fit the mannequin super well, but it is here. It's just uh, an elastic waistband. Um, and then underneath here is a little bit of a mess, but uh, a lot of different pink colors of tool. Um, I wanted it to have like these different colors show through um, when I like sat down and stuff, but honestly, you can't see it at all, so. It was way too much work compared to what it ended up being. Uh, but the silhouette I really like, it's very poofy. Um, and then I have this like silk um, satin kind of thing uh, in pink with the gold uh, trim on here. Because uh, she kind of has that in her design. Uh, to be fair, I took a lot of creative liberties with this. Uh, because the original image uh, I can show here is um, not great quality. Uh, so I looked at that and some of the dolls that have been made inspired by this Barbie uh, to try and find out what the different pieces were supposed to look like and then I just pick and chose whatever I wanted. Um, but most of them had this like gold trim here and then uh, this very glittery uh, tool on top. Very, <laughs> very glittery. Uh, everywhere I walk uh, or sit or whatever, there's glitter left over. So I'm kind of surprised there's still any left on here, but <laughs> there is. Um, but uh, all like uh, both the petticoat and the tool layer and the satin layer is all in one waistband because uh, I wasn't really expecting to use the petticoat for anything else, and I'm probably not gonna. Um, then we have the like most work intensive part that is the corset. It's the first time I've done like a proper corset, uh, so it's like really snatchish <laughs> uh, and it fits me really well, which is honestly awesome. The back has like a lining layer, and then in on the inside, there's like a stability structural layer uh, that's not gonna stretch at all. Uh, which then makes it easier to put on the pretty stuff uh, without it losing the shape that it has uh, because this is way more stretchy uh, than the structural layer in here is. But the sides here are the same uh, satin uh, as the skirt and with the same like glittery tool on top of it. Um, the middle part is uh, white satin with the pink tool, glitter tool, and then this like, um, I want to call it like snowflake kind of, it might be difficult to see on the camera. Uh, but it has this like snowflake kind of pattern on it, uh, embroidered. Uh, on the side here I have two different trims to kind of make that transition between the pink and white a bit more 
pretty. I have these uh, gold appliques. Um, she has some sort of gold on her top, but it was kind of difficult to tell exactly what it was. Um, on here, I put all these like different small uh, pink rhinestones. They weren't in the applique. I put them on to kind of tie it all together. And then I have this like, um, yeah, the rhinestones or like gems or whatever you want to call them on the top here to create more of that effect that she seems to have on her uh, top. And then the top here, I put this uh, like pink, uh, it, it's a trim, but it's very like gathered and very pretty with sparkles and little flowers and such. Um, and it's, it was something that I had in my collection that I was like, this is the project for that. Uh, so it came on here. Um, I've worn this five times at this point, um, so it's also it doesn't hold up all that great around uh, the area of my uh, arm armpit um, because there's too much movement for a very delicate uh, trim. But uh, I know that now. Uh, <laughs> I didn't before I made this. It all closes with um, in the back here. There's uh, metal grommets and some sort of ribbon that doesn't stretch. Um, like linen kind of something. I don't know. I got it from a friend. Uh, but at least that worked out very well. And then we have the straps on top here, um, which is the same fabric, uh, not fabric, uh, trim as the one down here. So it kind of matches. But on the inside, it's like sewn on with some el elastic uh, to give me more movement than it would otherwise. Um, the necklace is just a very simple like hot pendant that, that I found and bought and there's nothing really special about it or anything but it kind of has to be there. Uh, it feels like a very essential part of the cosplay uh, with the story and everything. Um, then I made these that I really don't know how to explain what is um, but it's like the sleeves are like very puffy. Um, and it's the tool that is most off here is the one that is most off in the petticoat. Then you have the like glitter tool and then you have the trim um, from the top here. So it kind of fits together with the whole thing. And then on the inside I just uh, zigzagged some of oh, that is very difficult to see. Um, some, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like this transparent elastic kind of thing that sticks very well to your skin. Uh, so they sit on their own. Uh, when they're on there, they are not going anywhere, uh, which is nice. And I also, I burnt the edges of the tool that I also used on the petticoat and I also burnt the edges there because it frays like uh, but yeah, I, I have uh, two of those, of course. Um, then I bought small earrings for the cosplay. I don't have uh, piercings, so I always use clip-ons, but it was just like small heart uh, earrings. But I kind of cute. I just thought it added a bit to the cosplay. There we go. Um, last part is the wig. That looks like this. Um, and the crown, of course. Uh, the crown I also uh, just bought. Oh, that got very dark. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> the crown is uh, I also just bought. Um, the wig is an Otter wig that I cannot remember what it's called, uh, but I'll put, I'll put a link to it uh, down in the description, um, so it will be there uh, in the color and everything. Um, with this I used some uh, curlers um, and just like curled it up section by section and steamed it. Uh, and then took it out, put a lot of got to be uh, glued hairspray. 
uh, on here and uh, hope for the best because <laughs> it was uh, quite a process. There's like um, around 100 individual curls on here um, and honestly it looked better at some point than it does now uh, <laughs> but again I've been wearing this a lot and when you sit back you kind of mushes the hair um, but all in all it's held up pretty well I think uh, and it looks very pretty still um, it has these like uh, oh, these side parts um, that are very like iconic animated Barbie I feel uh, but it also means that it's a lot of uh, lace front uh, so uh, it took some practice to get it to look right. Uh, first of all I used a lot of um, what's it called? It's called spirit gum uh, to put the hair da hairline down um, but I also got this special uh, tape kind of thing to cover up my own uh, like hairline because especially in the sides here uh, mine like even the like few hairs that would stick out would be very visible because my hair is so dark compared to this um, so I used that and it actually I think it worked out pretty well um, it definitely worked better than I thought because when you look at it the tape just <laughs> questionable uh, but it actually blends in uh, pretty seamlessly when everything is on and such. Um, I tied the hair together with the same trim that I used uh, on here and for the straps uh, again to kind of tie everything together um, and yeah I think that's actually every piece of this cosplay um, I'll put her away um, yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, when it comes to wearing this cosplay, uh, I've worn it for Dokokan with uh, the entire uh, group. Uh, we went together and uh, had a lot of fun. Just went around the con saying, Hi, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> I know there's a reel about that uh, from that on my Instagram too. Uh, and then I wore it for the Bobby premiere. Uh, we were like a uh, premiere before the premiere, like a day before it was actually premiering. It was like this big release party and such, um, which was very fun. Uh, and we got some pictures from there as well. Um, they had this whole setup, uh, and there was like pink cocktails. Um, cotton candy, everything just pink. They even had like a nail technician there to like do people's nails which was pretty awesome and giveaways and stuff. Uh, it was kind of fun and uh, we were definitely overdressed compared to uh, some of the other more normal pink uh, outfits uh, but everything looked great uh, and it was so fun. I feel very pretty in pink in it, uh, that much I can say. Um, and I, uh, I love the things I got to experiment with in this cosplay. And I love uh, some of the pictures I got to take uh, too. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not gonna ramble anymore. Um, I just want to do like a walkthrough about uh, this cosplay uh, since I did that with the last cosplay. Um, and even though it's a bit late, here it is. Um, and let me know if you guys have any questions at all. Uh, I would love to answer anything. Um, or if you want like links to certain stuff or whatever, know where I bought something, anything, let me know. Uh, or yeah, j just let me know if you want to know anything, then uh, I'll be more than happy to answer. And um, until next time. <laughs>